Flight experts announced Monday plane flights could get more turbulent over the North Atlantic because of climate changes. Lead author Paul Williams from the Reading University has more. By the middle of this century, we can expect the amount of turbulence in the airspace to double and also for that turbulence to get stronger, which is likely to increase the problems and the cost to airliners and passengers. The study published in the journal Nature Climate Change shows that passengers could experience choppy skies 40 to 170 percent more often with actual turbulence increasing in strength by 10 to 40 percent. Williams explains climate change will impact the atmosphere structure creating upward and downward movements of air. Ultimately the movement would cause the plane's wings to move as well creating turbulence. But the air movements will be unpredictable, which the National Center for Atmospheric Research reports causes most of the weather aircraft catastrophes. Turbulence is the leading cause of injuries to passengers and crew aboard commercial aircrafts. Planes sometimes unexpectedly encounter turbulence while cruising through regions of clear air, but the waves cannot be detected by radars aboard commercial aircraft. France 24 has more on the research itself, which focused on the North Atlantic zone although the fluctuations could spread to other regions of the world. The study authors used supercomputer simulations of the North Atlantic jet stream, a strong upper atmospheric wind, one of the world's busiest with about 300 eastbound and 300 westbound flights per day. And this also implies financial consequences. Williams told the BBC an increase in the air turbulence would mean planes would need more fuel to fly. If flights get diverted more to fly around turbulence rather than through it, then, of course, the amount of fuel that needs to be burnt will increase. It could, of course, be passengers buying their tickets who see the prices go up. Although the results might not be definitive, the new study is the first to look at aviation turbulence. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews. Multiple sources, a broader view.